Hey everybody. What's happening? It's another episode of today's Tiny House Parking Spot. And today we are parked in Sedona, Arizona. <laughs> Sedona feels like a town inside of a national park. Absolutely. You're looking at these big, gorgeous mountains as you drive around. Uh, and they're absolutely everywhere, and it and it feels like a national park. Yeah, you could be like hanging out at Chipotle, and you have this like <laughs> stunning mountain view. I mean, literally, you can almost not escape it in this town. And we're parked at the Sedona Charter School because they have a very cool tiny house project here. Mm -hmm. They're providing affordable workforce housing for two of their teachers, and an on-site cabin, and tiny house. The tiny house here at Sedona Charter School is one of five tiny houses that was purchased at auction from the Construction Careers Academy in Texas, which is a high school program that's been building tiny houses for the past few years. And our friend Darren Dinsmore uh, purchased these houses and brought them here to Sedona and the four others are at his new tiny camp, Sedona. So I'm here with Darren Dinsmore, the owner and founder of Tiny Camp Sedona. How's it going, Darren? Oh, it's great. A beautiful sunny day in Arizona. <laughs> it is. So this location is fabulous and it's been a real journey to make this happen, I know. Could you share with us a little bit about Tiny Camp Sedona? Yeah, so well, Tiny Camp Sedona is meant to be number one, a demonstration project for sustainable living uh, using tiny homes. And uh, number two, Sedona has sort of an international reputation for health and wellness and healing. And so this is designed to be a place where people come and have a retreat, get away from their normal lives and experience nature and connect with um, you know, the energy of this place and with their um, spouse or partner and the, and the natural environment. Fabulous. So there are currently four tiny homes here. There are four tiny homes that are available to rent at tinycamp.com. And then we have another um, uh, tiny house that's a model for sustainable living, off the grid, battery powered, um, and that will be um, operational in a couple of months. And like we mentioned, we first met Darren in San Antonio two and a half years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> and that's where he, originally um, purchased, was it four of the houses that are here? Yep, four of the houses uh, built by the Construction Careers Academy. And uh, one of those uh, tiny homes went to house a local teacher at a charter school in town in Sedona. And now we've got some of our own sort of more modern units that we're designing and we hope to roll out um, more of those in the future. Excellent, right on. Definitely want to check them out. Also look them up on Instagram, Tiny Camp Sedona. This place is unreal. Well, thanks for giving us a, a look around your awesome property. Great, thanks for coming. <laughs> so Tiny Camp Sedona is three houses on skids, one house on a, they built it on a mobile home foundation, and then one tiny house on wheels. So there's a gambit of things right there. It's built into a hillside and it has absolutely amazing views. Yeah, it's a short-term rental resort, a great place to come and unwind. And it's also serving as a educational demonstration project for the city and county here to learn about the different um, kinds of tiny housing that they might be able to use here. Not a bad place to do it. I mean, it's gorgeous. So one of my traditions, I guess you'd say it is, is to, since I was a kid, is to watch the, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, because it's like the one thing that makes it all of a sudden feel like holiday, you know, like it's holiday time. <laughs> <laughs> I bought one of those little square antennas that you can put it mount on the wall. And because I found out last year that I couldn't find the parade live online anywhere you know i was bummed about that so i bought the antenna pretty much spent thirty dollars so i could watch uh the thanksgiving day parade 
on Thanksgiving. <laughs> and now it's Sesame Street. So last year we were in St. Augustine, Florida. This year we're in Sedona, Arizona. And, um, you know, we're still able to have traditions and, you know, like watching the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade while we travel. So, uh, you know, I, I don't feel like I've lost anything going tiny or, you know, made it more complicated with traveling. It's, we're still able to do all of the fun, amazing stuff and keep traditions. And uh, later today, we're gonna go have uh, Thanksgiving dinner with uh, a bunch of new friends. Friendsgiving? Friendsgiving. <laughs> we're gonna have a Friendsgiving. So, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. So this was our parking spot for Thanksgiving, but <laughs> we got uh, invited to Friendsgiving. <laughs> we had a super wonderful and intimate Friendsgiving with our friend Darren Dinsmore, um, his beautiful girlfriend and daughter, and another friend, Allison, and her tiny-ish small house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they consider it a tiny house. It's like 500 square feet, a beautiful space, and we just had the best time very low key and the food was delicious it was awesome yeah casita i kept calling it a casita that's what it was that's right tiny casita tiny casita <laughs> so, so unfortunately that's it for sedona yes i can't wait to come back and hike until we're blue in the face because apparently there's enough hikes and biking trails here that if you lived here for three years you can maybe do them all. So we definitely have to come back. Yeah, for sure. But for now, we are headed to Los Angeles for some exciting tiny house advocacy happenings and for the Glamping Summit. Maybe we'll get a few parking leads out of it. Mm -hmm. I hope what, so. That's what we hope. <laughs> all right, guys, take it easy. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>